In this tutorial I'm going to show you chart tabulated information for the VFR terminal and sectional area chart. And if we look, we can find it over here along the inside pane and towards the bottom. So let's zoom in and we can see more clearly what it says. So if I read that to you, it's what it states is that airports with control towers are indicated in the face of the chart by the letters CT followed by the primary VHF local control frequencies which would be here. Information for each tower is listed in the table below. Operational hours are local time. These are the operational hours. The primary VHF and UHF local control frequencies are listed and asterisk indicates part-time tower frequency is remoted to a co-located full-time flight service station for use as an airport advisory service during the hours the tower is closed. So let's see if we can find any such examples on this chart. I'm working the way down now. I do not see any that are co-located with a flight service station because I do not see an asterisk. So unfortunately there aren't any examples on this particular sectional, but if we looked at another one, we could probably find it. Moving on, it says that the primary VHF and UHF ground control frequencies are listed. So here we see we've got tower, and here we've got ground control. Automatic terminal information service, ADA's frequencies are shown on the face of the chart, are primarily arrival UHF VHF frequencies. So here we've got the ADIS. All ADIS frequencies are listed in the table below. And this is the table. ADIS operational hours may differ from the tower operational hours. That's a little subtle point. And then it says ASR and or PAR indicate radar instrument approach available. So let's see here we can see the ASR and PAR which tell us that radar instrument approaches are available at these airports military um, Atlantic City I believe that's international so that's a public airport Davison Air Force Base notice also that the control towers are listed in alphabetical order so if you know the name of the airport you'll be able to go through this list a lot quicker if you recognize the alphabet alphabetical order nature to it. If we go down, here's all the class C, class B, and terminal radar service area approach control frequencies. And you've got the frequencies in VHF, UHF, and then also the sector with which to use the particular frequencies, sector and altitude. And also the hours of operation for these airspaces. Now if we go here, we've got special use airspace. So let's see the notes here. Unless otherwise noted, altitudes are MSL and in feet. Time is local. TO and altitude means to and including. FL, flight level. No AG, no air to ground communications. Contact the nearest flight service station for information. That's a subtle important point. The little uh, cross symbol means other times noted other times by notum and notum use of this term in restricted areas indicates FAA and DOD notum systems use of this term in all other special use areas indicates the DOD notum system so here we can see P40 which is Camp David continuously prohibited the controlling agency contact facility and it says no air to ground communications here we've got R4001 which is when P40 expands if the president's at Camp David and similarly the other information if we move over here we've got the R's for the restricted areas same information here tells us the centers here we've got W's for warning areas. 
here we've got A for alert areas and here we've got MOAs for military operational areas and the controlling frequency the altitudes and all the other pertinent information so that's all there is to it um, not very difficult but just important that you are aware of where to look and if we switch over quickly to the terminal area chart and I'll zoom out for you we'll see that we have the same information but now it's only on this pane it's exactly the same stuff it's just less of it because the area with which the terminal area chart covers is less airports and airspace so you get less frequencies um, for approach and towers and uh, MOAs and the like so that's all there is to it and it's that simple